Our home is one of the original five homes built on Way Road. The property was part of a large farm owned by the Watson family, and part of it eventually became Bass Rocks Golf Club. The home was built as a summer home around the turn of the last century. It was enlarged in the 20s to make room for a couple who were caretakers for the home. The second owners, Dr. Apero and Barbara Apero, added an art studio for Barbara, who was an artist and who also laid out the garden design. We love historic homes and we love the architecture of the home. We have moldings, flame sweet gum paneling that has never been touched, never painted or stained, antique yellow southern pine wood flooring. The doors between the rooms upstairs are works of art themselves. Thick planks of wood with wrought iron handles, latches, hinges. We preserve original details whenever possible. Entertaining is just fun. Living spaces are large. Your family and friends can roam around. There's plenty of room. In the warmer weather, we spend most of our time outdoors. A lot of the time on the front deck doing barbecues. Evenings, we are usually on the upper deck, watching ships go by and the lights from Thatcher Island going round and round. I was thrilled to find so many beautiful plantings from Barbara Perro and previous owners. Wild daylilies, hybrid daylilies, many cultivars of hosta, three types of iris and some of my favorite native plants. May apple, wild bleeding heart, Solomon seal, jack in the pulpit. As a botanist, I wanted to increase species diversity and we now have over 50 herbaceous perennials in English cottage style borders. We have added more of my favorite natives, hardy geraniums, wild grape blue lobelia, shooting star, trout lily, sweet woodruff, and trillium. My treasures are the many jack in the pulpits that we have carefully maintained and propagated on the property. As we are filming this video, flowering trees and shrubs are just beginning. Magnolia, shadbush, ornamental cherry, crab apples, dogwood, roadies. Something will be in bloom all spring and summer. When the shadbush blooms, it looks like clouds floating in the backyard. studio has been used by three generations of artists. Our daughter is the current artist in residence. She is a watercolorist and has created many beautiful works of art here. When we first moved in, we set up in the we set up futons in the art studio for overnight guests, and they still talk about how much fun it was to sleep in the treehouse room. Living here is so calming. We wake up each day to blue sky and ocean and the greens of the golf course. Maple, oak, larch, and ash trees put on their yearly show. 
leafing out in the spring, turning deep green in the summer and bright colors in the fall. Winter brings its own interest. The large trees turn into elegant sculptures. When the temperature falls, sea smoke swirls above the ocean. Rhodey leaves cling tightly to their stems to conserve precious water and the garden beds make graceful flowing designs on the earth. We have loved living here. The previous owners described living here as magical, and they are right, it is truly magical. Mm -hmm.